Hi, I'm Mandy, Product Engineer at Black Wolf. Today I want to tell you a little bit about our Grasshopper Series tents. We've got two in the series, the Grasshopper 2 and the Grasshopper 3. They also have a bigger brother, the Scorpion, which is a very similar tent in a, in a four person. So the two and the three have exactly the same features. Um, they are uh, fairly lightweight, good for most, most adventure activities. They've got a full mesh inner, so they're best for warmer um, climates. Um, but they'll give you great ventilation um, in hot, hot sort of weather. So they both have exactly the same um, internal features and external features. They're just, um, the three is a little bit larger than the two. It's a little bit wider, and as you can see, it's a little bit taller. So come on and I'll walk you through the features on the grass. Okay, so first of all, we've got our um, front entry. The other side, on the back side, you've got exactly the same style of entry. So it's, a, it's symmetrical, both um, vestibules on both sides. Door unzips to allow pretty good access. So you can kind of use this as your doorway. Then you've got this space here as, as a vestibule. You can you can store your uh, your backpack or your, and your boots, things like that. The door itself is a teardrop shape. Zips all the way around, so it's super easy to uh, to access. So on the inside, the grasshoppers have a lot of livable space for their size. You can see I've got three full-size mats, or three, three mats laid out here, um, two three-quarters and I've got a full length here as well. But there's plenty of room for those two to fit side by side. So if you did want to use this for, for three people, there is plenty of space. Obviously it's a very roomy tent for two. So on the interior here, we've got some roof pockets up the top here. Great for storing small stuff, drying socks, um, whatever you want to use them for. Also quite handy if you, if you pop a head torch up in there, you kind of give yourself a bit of a lantern inside your tent. In the four corners we've got um, pockets. So each, each, po each corner has, a, uh, has another pocket, so there's plenty of, plenty, of space to keep you, plenty of places to keep your small stuff up off the floor. In addition to the, um, to the roof vents, you've also got some little, t little tabs there, some ties. Um, so if you are in a wet environment and you need to hang up a bit of a line to dry some socks, um, dry out your shirts and things like that if you're if you're out hiking um, you can do that as well the um, so you can see here is the pocket for the um, for the door so that door just zips right around tucks up into that pocket makes it very handy keeps those doors out of the way as you're getting in and out of the tent you can see you've got your Festival on the back side here, the same as the one on the front. So you've got a good 5,000mm uh, waterproof floor, fully seam seal, got a fully seam sealed fly. As you can see, full mesh inner, so this is a great tent for warmer, um, warmer temperatures. Certainly going to keep the rain out. Um, you do want to possibly consider something with a, um, with a full fabric inner, such as our isopod in for very cold conditions. So both tents, the, the two and the three, have the same exact layout, the same features. Um, your grasshopper two is just a little narrower in the um, in the width, um, but plenty of space for two um, two mats inside the grasshopper two. So that's a quick look at the grasshopper um, series tents. Keep watching after this. Um, keep watching now, and I will show you how to pitch the grasshopper two. So first of all, we want to clear a nice space for our tent. Make sure there's no sticks or, or rocks underneath. Lay your tent out on the ground. Then um, grab your pegs, you're just going to peg out the four corners. So sort of checking as you go, here's a few more sticks, I'll pick those up, toss them out. Next step is to assemble your poles. You've got three poles, one yellow and two red. So as you assemble them, just make sure each of the ferrules are seated nicely in the, in the pole next to it. Then we're going to pop our yellow pole into one end of the yellow tab. You can see the colour-coded um, tabs for the poles, they match the poles, yellow tabs for the yellow pole and then we're just going to clip that yellow pole up and when it's pegged out it will stand up by itself um, at that stage. Then our red poles go from corner to above the door so again you're going from red um, eyelet to red eyelet. Then the other one exactly the same from one corner goes over the top of the yellow pole and up to the, um, the tab above the door. So peg those up and you've got your main um, inner tent ready, then just get the fly out, you'll notice it's also got colour coded red and yellow, 
tabs for the to match the corners. So your yellow clips go to your yellow corners and your red clips go to your red corners. The, the fly is symmetrical, so it doesn't matter which way around you, um, you pitch it. Next thing is to secure the eyelets above the doors. Again, they're color-coded red. So you just want to open the door, pop that over. You can zip your door back up. Make sure you've got your door zipped up when you peg your vestibules out to get the right tension. So front and rear pegged out. And there we go. Simple as that.